Welcome, you freaking nerds, to the nerdiest of all nerdy videos. I feel like I want to yell at you the whole time for being the nerds that watch this and then possibly believe any word that I'm saying about possible differences between clipping diodes in a clone type circuit. I have a feeling that what J Rocket's doing is trolling you. I want to call you idiots, but I mean, I love you guys. But all you people that are spending your time on forums and uh, talking and discussing and yelling at each other about, no, 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 the mm, is the better diode and it sounds so much warmer and crispier. And, uh, fall. Obviously, Josh Scott just showed that a bad monkey can sound like a clown. I didn't even see the video, but I'm, I'm sure he could make it sound like that. And um, and the, uh, the, the Kernum Ridge can sound similar to that too. Many pedals can sound like that. So why you would discuss the tiny little minutia of clipping diodes uh, in that circuit, I don't know. I talked to Colin Scott yesterday who started yelling at me like, it's forward push Voltage. I don't. I have no idea what he talked about. He he was rambling on for about thirty seconds, and I had no idea what the words were that he used. He's like, "There's no difference in that because it's not. It's a clipping alley. I don't know words. So, it is the thing that you all really need, apparently. The Archer Select from J Rocket. Now J Rocket makes the Archer, which is a brilliant pedal. It's a clone circuit, but it's just the one that I like to throw on the table when I use a Clontarp circuit. And then I didn't believe that the Jeff Beck version, which was about a hundred bucks more, is better because it's got better components and new old stock and all that bullshit. Well, it, it was, it was a little bit more defined. And if money was no issue and I could pick in a clean, sterile studio environment where I only hear the pedal and not in a mix, I would prefer the Jeff Beck version. So maybe there is something to the difference in clipping diodes. Play the fucking right notes, and then the diodes do not matter. But okay, what do I know? I don't know. So, here, they now give you all the diodes you guys have been talking about. And I'm pretty sure they're trolling you. But maybe not. Maybe they actually believe themselves that it's all really relevant, and the differences are worth putting in a pedal. I don't think they do, but you do. And for everyone that says, but this diode's better than this, here is the Archer. So what happens is, when this is not on, the clipping, it is the stock diode, which I will read things to you that I don't understand. It is the OA10 diode. That's the stock diode. I don't even know what a diode is, but there it is. That's the stock one. And then you click it, and then you can pick from one of these extra six of them. The 1N270, the 1N695, the 1N34A. Oh my god, they got the 34A in there? I have no idea. The D9B. I thought the D9B was uh, discontinued, but somehow they got that. A lot of this stuff is new old stock anyway, they're saying. So that means that in the future, the diodes that they're using might change. It says in the manual, as a production today, these are the diodes we have selected. However, since all but the LEDs are NOS germanium diodes, I don't know which ones are LEDs, um, availability can and most likely will change in the future. For now, we have a healthy supply. Um, then we got the D9E, which is clearly very different than the D9B right there, and red LEDs. And apparently, from here to here, there's a volume jump. I can't even perceive that. On this one, I hear a little bit of different mids, which I really prefer. So, cool. Um, that's what's happening. Now, for those of you who like to run their Archer or their clone like this, and use it as like a clean boosty thing, this is completely pointless because they very clearly point out, please experiment and remember you only hear clipping diodes when they're actually clipping, so experiment with the gain. So using it as a clean boost pedal, which many people use their clone as, uh, kind of pointless. But I know you want it because you're those kind of nerds that are on the gear page, just 
you know, hitting each other over the heads with baseball bats because someone else said those clipping diodes are better than other clipping diodes. No, I want the D9E. Oh my God, you said D9E. Why didn't you say D9B? I cannot be friends with you anymore. Cancel culture. I don't know. But you know what? I'm getting paid to show you this thing. So I'm showing you this thing. They all sound good. It's a freaking clon made by J Rocket. What's not to like? Other than that you probably don't need it and there's, you know, the higher price than the others. But what do I know? So, there you go. Should I keep this open? Let's go through this again. Come on, just so you know. That's the 1N270, 1N695, 1N34A, D9B, D9E, and red LEDs. What do you think about this? Hmm? You don't care about clipping diodes, right? No. Go away. We're going to start into clean app as always, which is the Tone King Sky King with the... Noodle, can I help you? Go away. With the uh, Tone King Sky King with this Schecter Nick Johnson PT with a beautiful Wayne Gear Nick. That's a masterpiece of a guitar. We're going into the Ox, which I have these settings on. It's a Creamback 412 with a 57 and a U87 or a 60, uh, whatever. It's, a, it's it, Anyone can achieve those sounds rather easily. And most of the frequency response is in the speaker, which is why many demos or reviews, this is a review, not a demo, of this pedal will sound different because speaker frequency response is about 60% of what you're hearing. Maybe more. You can see on the side here, there's an extra jack. And you wonder why is it there? Well, uh, you can see from the top, it says DI speaker sim. And the switch on it is actually the ground switch for the speaker simulation. Why? If this is beyond me. Why they chose to include that, I don't understand. I would like to talk to Chris Van Tassel and find out what drove them to do this on a clone type circuit. Because the nerds and the cork sniffers, tone masters that buy higher priced clone circuits, clone clones. They think they can hear mind blowing tone, right? And the differences between, between different clipping diodes. Why in the world would they go directly with this into an audio interface where all of that is completely lost with a analog speaker simulation, which actually doesn't sound good and loses a lot of gain. I don't understand why they included that. We will listen to it at the end, but it's just, it's just not good. So I will not fault this pedal for the speaker sim. We're just going to pretend it's not even there. What do you think about that? Okay. I could say, oh, it sounds crap. And that's why the pedal isn't good. No, I just think you should completely ignore that it's there. We're going to listen to it. And maybe you can find use for that somewhere. It's a different kind of sound, but I really don't think this pedal should have that. So we're going to go stock. Doesn't matter where that is set. And that's my, that's my clean sound, as they say. It, it isn't. The pedal, of course, is, as clones are, uh, buffered bypass. So without power, nothing's coming through.
it's the typical souped up, soupy, thick, clon type drive. Nice amount of bass, and it's just a thick overdrive. <laughs> get quite a bit of gain in there. Now, let's keep it there because we really push, I mean, mass, mass volume output, mass gain, and this is technically where we should hear the differences between the different uh, clipping dials the most, and we're gonna go and engage number one, which had a name. <laughs> something fuzzing out there that could be too much output for the red LED one. Hi, learn stuff! <laughs> okay, that 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 went somewhere else. Let's do the same thing again with a different setting, different sound. <laughs> I mean, any difference you can perceive, I think is imagined. Because, I mean, I'm sitting here and I'm listening to it in the room with amazing speakers from KS Digital. Thank you, KS Digital. Uh, uh, through a kick-ass setup. With a, I mean, I'm, I'm experiencing it. And 
I'm fishing for differences. I have a feeling that this one right there is a little bit more defined and has different mids, but I mean, that could really just be me imagining that. <laughs> a little bit more midi no difference that in any situation in the world whether recording or live or you bragging to your friends about having the archer select is going to matter in uh, well the, the latter probably uh that that's probably where it matters so let's be realistic kind of pointless but if you're the guy who loves his clan and you want to make sure that you got all the clipping diodes that everyone talked about because you really want to experience the differences and you actually think there's a big difference, then a pointful, not pointless. There was a difference between the, the, the Archer, which is brilliant, and the Archer, uh, the Jeff Beck Archer, which is brilliant error. So maybe this is even brilliant error uh, in time as you discover which diode makes sense for you. I, I can't really... Can't really talk it up more than that. It's not that it's a bad pedal. In no freaking way. It's a fantastic pedal, as it always has been. Do we need all the clipping diodes? I, I, don't, I don't think we do. I actually don't think that Jay Rocket thinks you do. But many of you think you do, so you're going to buy it. You're going to buy it anyway. It doesn't matter what I say. Okay? It, it doesn't matter, because you guys spend hours discussing these diodes, which is why they even made the pedal in the first place, because of you people. So you've been secretly asking for it. They're just doing your favor and they're making the thing that you want to buy. We're going to run it into, let's say, one more amp. It doesn't make sense to run all of them into loads of different amps. I'm going to run this into the MVP 66. That's a good, that's a good thing to play. There you go. It's really weird because it's a great paddle. It sounds amazing. But you know what I'm trying to say. Let's go and check out the DI out. So if I have it at the same output volume that I pump into the amp, this is, this is what happens. It's weird because it doesn't look like it's clipping the input, so we got to take this down. I'm going to go into my Apollo X4, which is what I've got to plug into. Right there, it's going straight into the X4. Okay, we level it out. I mean, it's not that that's utterly horrible. It's just, why have a clone pedal with a DI out? And you heard the gain earlier. Where, where, where did it go? <laughs> I 
It's very interesting how it's actually way more different when you go the eye. Weird. <laughs> Uh, just the LED, just the the, ex the volume bump here. So I don't I don't see the point of that. That DI out realistically, it would it be cheaper if it didn't have that? Probably not. It's really big. As always. The J Rocket Archer is a good pedal. There's the Archer. Isn't there an Archer that Steve Stevens has with EQ? That's cool. Jeff Beck Archer, contrary to what I believed, is actually a step up from the Archer. It's a hundred bucks more, but it actually has a little, little bit heads up there because of the better components, NOS components, whatever. And these also has NOS components, but loads of them. Look, I demoed it. I'm not going to pour gas on the snake oil fire and say, oh my God, this is the... You know you want it. Do with this information as you please. Comment below what you think. And um, Chris and the whole J-Rocket team, you know I love you. You know you're trolling the community with that. I know what you're doing and I love you for it. Okay? Archer is still a mind-blowing pedal. Always has been, always will be. Links below. Uh, the distributor, by the way, commissioned this video. Important to uh, mention. They're not going to be happy with me, but hey, what can we do? You know, this is a review. And <laughs> thank you, Mario. Love you. Um, and was at the end. <laughs>